I would like to thank Cricut for sponsoring today's video and in today's video I'm going to be comparing the Cricut Explore with the Cricut Maker 3. Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new and you're stopping by for the first time, welcome. My name's Melissa and I love to do all things crafty on a budget, especially Dollar Tree DIYs. Farmhouse decor is my specialty and much more. So if that's something you're interested in, I would love if you would stick around, become part of this crafty family. That way you don't miss a single crafty moment by clicking that red subscribe button and then tapping the bell and all. That way you're notified every single time I upload. So for today's video, I have something a little bit different. So because I'm a crafty channel, I have so many different crafty friends, Cricut friends, Chalk Couture friends, Dollar Tree DIY friends, thrift flip friends so many different people who like different things cricket is not one of my major things but it's one of the things that i get a lot of questions about so i wanted to start this series out going back to the basics so we're going to start off by talking about the air and the maker and what they do and then the next video i do in the beginning of december we will go over all of the materials that each machine cut and then hopefully the next video after that we can get into design space and so on and so forth so if that's something you're interested in let me know in the comments down below i want to thank cricket for sponsoring today's video and with all that being said don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and let's jump into today's video Cricut Explore Air 2 can cut up to 100 plus material. So the Cricut Joy cuts 50. This machine right here cuts up to 100 materials. So you open it by this little button right here. You just hit that button. And when you hit the button, it opens just like that. Um, you do not want to pull on this or anything like that. Always use your button. But I did just want to talk a little bit about what the Cricut Explore Air is most known for. So like I said, it can cut up to 100 plus materials and it cuts heavier materials like leather and fabric, which the Cricut Joy does not do. Cricut Explore Air 2 also has an auto setting for 80 plus materials. The maximum cut on this machine is 12 by 24. It's Bluetooth. It comes with fast mode, which cuts up to two times faster than the um, regular mode. And there are so many other amazing features of this machine. It's great for bigger projects, and it's also the budget machine between the Maker and the Explore Air, obviously. The Maker is the newer machine. The Explore Air 2 is the older machine. Sorry, guys. I just shut that so you could see me. But this machine cuts bigger and heavier material. So it cuts 100 plus materials, like I said, but it cuts heavier materials like leather, fabric. So if that's something that you are thinking to do with your machine, then a Cricut Explore Air might be the machine for you. It also comes with fast mode so that it cuts up to two times faster. And there's also a ton of other great features to this machine. So I'll also leave a link down below for a really in-depth tutorial to each machine. I personally don't have one, but um, if you guys are a little confused and you're not really sure like which machine to choose, I wanted to do this video for you and I'll also leave more in-depth videos down below on each machine. Okay, last but not least, we have the Cricut Maker 3. Now, at one point, I did have the Cricut Maker, but 
I don't need all these machines. So I did end up getting rid of that one. And that one does a lot more than the Cricut Explore Air 2. But for today and for this video, I'm going to talk about the Cricut Maker 3 because that is what I have on hand and that is what I have to show you guys. Um, but I did just want to mention that I would not go for a bigger machine like this or the Maker 3 if you're not a seasoned crafter or if you're not a seasoned Cricut user, if that makes sense. So the most popular features of the Cricut Maker 3 are it cuts 300 plus materials. So the Joy cuts 50, the Air 2 cuts 100, and the Maker 3 cuts 300 plus material. The smart tool system allows you to switch 13 different tools out of this system right here. That way you can cut, draw, score, deboss. I mean, the list goes on. There's so many different things that you can do with this smart tool system right here that it's just absolutely amazing. So the Cricut Maker 3 is also Bluetooth and the Cricut Maker 3 can cut up to 12 feet. So it's perfect if you're making t-shirts and you want to print out several designs of, at once or you're cutting a larger project or a longer project. This machine is so perfect. I love this machine so much. So I'm not going to lie, you guys. My favorite machines are the Maker 3, the Explore 3, and the Joy because of the smart materials. Now, the smart materials are a little bit more expensive, but they are so worth it because they save so much time. So if you're just the occasional crafter, I don't think that a machine like this would be right for you or even the Explore 3. Unless Unless there's something those specific machines do that you have in mind that you need to do with your crafting, then I definitely would go with a smaller machine. This machine is going to be perfect for the business owner. Um, things of that nature or if you do projects that are very large in size then I definitely think go for the bigger machine so I hope that this helps somebody out there I hope that this little series is going to be fun for you guys the next video I do will be the beginning of December we will go over all the materials that all the machines can use you know within reason I can't go into 450 plus materials but I can go into the main materials the most popular materials so if that's something you're interested in let me know in the comments down below I know that Cricut is not up everybody's alley I do a lot of things here on my channel I do Dollar Tree DIYs I use Chalk Couture I use Cricut I use anything craft related here on my channel you can find it so anyway with all that being said I hope you guys have an amazing week don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it if it helped you subscribe if you haven't already because i can bring you guys so many more diy projects and informational videos like these as well and don't forget to share this because those thumbs up those subscribes those shares really help my channel to grow and help youtube to notice me just a bit more and if nobody has told you today you are absolutely beautiful you are worthy and i love you with all my heart and soul and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye